one of the first things Maddie said when he was diagnosed was when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. So. My name's Bianca Adkins and I'm from King Creek, Newport Macquarie. So a uh, lot's been going on. Our life changed pretty dramatically um, back in 2019. My husband was diagnosed with motor neurone disease, so MND. Um, we've got two children who um, would have been, I guess, seven and ten back then. It was a bit of a shock and certainly not anything that we expected. Matt was super healthy and fit and full of life and started to get some odd symptoms. Um, he was really strong and he started to feel really weak at work and um, had problems walking and just knew that there was something not quite right. So we went to the, through the process of um, trying to get it diagnosed and that was probably harder than what we anticipated. Probably took about maybe four months all up and it was really a process of elimination as to what it could be. Um, I guess drawing closer to when he did get diagnosed, there was not really much else left. So we were kind of prepared for the MND diagnosis. We didn't really know much about MND. So we knew that it was bad. We knew that uh, they'd say it was terminal, but we didn't actually really know how it was gonna affect him or even how it was gonna affect our family um, and the impact that it was gonna have. So from the moment we were, he was told that he had MND and I, you know, that obviously those pivotal moments in life you never forget. Um, but we walked out of there and we were just like, oh, we've got this, like, you know, no one gets to tell you that your life's over, um, which essentially is what they did. And we walked out of there and went and bought a bottle of champagne. We were down Newcastle and jumped in the spa and drank a bottle of champagne and talked about how we were going to live our life. And it was going to look very different to how we'd been living our life. So there was hope from the absolute get-go. There was there was no, um, no doubt that he was going to give it absolutely everything that he could. And he did. I think I'm a pretty strong person, um, pretty strong willed. And I just I just knew I had to hold him, like I had had to be that person for him. So from that moment I just uh, I was like, right, we're we're doing this together and um I didn't like I said I didn't know what that was gonna look like. Um we weren't really prepared for it and just every day just looked different and I guess M and D is so fast progressing that it we didn't really have time to just stop and think about it because things were just happening before our eyes. So um, the fun part was buying the motorhome and traveling and, you know, everyone jumped on board. We've got such amazing support network of friends and family and everyone was so good. And we took off traveling for a bit, um, but that was short lived because Maddie um, declined so quick that he was struggling to even get into bed. So. You know, we're away down the south coast and I can remember just trying to have to physically lift him into bed every night and take him to the toilet and it was kind of losing its fun. So, you know, we had to come back to reality and realise that um, we had to get back to port and back to our support networks and lean in on everyone else. And um, that was incredible. We came back and, and life started a whole new version. And I guess our house quickly turned into more like a hospice and... Um, but again, not at any single point did we lose hope. And that's, I guess, when things shifted from let's just have fun and live our life to let's actually really look at maybe what we can do differently to what other people have done um, to be able to fight MND. So there's no current cause or cure for MND and there's so many gray areas and it affects people slightly different depending on what type you've got. Um, certainly in Australia, we're very far behind. Uh, America have had some great breakthroughs, but um, I guess the ability for people to be able to travel from Australia to America for treatment, you know, I guess the financial side of that, but also the physical side, once they're diagnosed with MNDs, it's really tough. So. That wasn't an option for Maddie, um, but we did lots of research ourselves. Um, you know, I felt like I became a professor overnight. 
Um, we both did. We discovered a lot. Um, didn't really get us anywhere, obviously, but I do feel like it's an area that's so um, it so badly needs awareness and financial support behind it to get to a place where we actually at least know what causes MND. So um, at the moment, the statistics stand at one in 300 people will get MND. So we're actually in a hotspot. So they call, there's parts of Australia that actually have a higher diagnosis and we, we live in that hotspot. So we need to know why and we need to, yeah, get some more awareness out there. Our son Banjo was obsessed with merch at the time and everything he was into he wanted merch for and it just kind of clicked and I went, you know what, like there's something in this. Um, one of the first things Maddie said when he was diagnosed was when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. So from that, I guess the lemonade crew was born and the idea behind it was obviously awareness um, and that's where the merch comes into it. So it's all MND related. There's kind of a shift partway through um, where obviously the driving force was about MND and awareness, but it was kind of also about living your best life, so or living your zest life as we created. But um, yeah, so it's teaching people that you know, no matter what's happening in your life, you are, you've got to give it a good crack, and that's exactly what Maddie did. And no matter uh, how sick he got, like you know, to the point where um, you know, like he wasn't even able to talk or move there was still so much more laughter in that house than there was tears and that was just our biggest focus every single day. The schools were so incredibly supportive throughout our journey and um, my daughter's school and my, actually my son was there at the time too, held a day in honour of Maddie called Lemonade Day um, and basically this was a day to raise funds for the Lemonade crew but also awareness for the kids and again to just talk about the importance of living your best life and I guess a little bit of resilience um, which was a big thing you know our kids had no choice but to be incredibly resilient and a lot of their friends would say, you know, how do you do that? So it was one of those things that just came up. It's so important for young children um, to learn the art of resilience. It's definitely not something that we're all born with. So I remember one year for Lemonade Day, I had this concept in my head of, um, you know, like the pearl and the oyster and the old saying, no grit, no pearl. And I was trying to find a book or a story that I could read to the kids and I looked everywhere, I couldn't find it, looked online, couldn't find anything, so I wrote it. Um, yeah, so it's a basically a story aimed at a children's book, um, and the idea is to talk about the little grit, all the things that are uncomfortable in life, that, you know, if we have a little bit of determination and resilience can actually turn into something beautiful like a pearl. So Lenny the Oyster, um, is a children's book that I wrote that I'm really proud of and obviously that was in honour of Maddie and my two little pearls, Banjo and Frankie. I think that, you know, that's something that catches me every time because you know you've obviously got your friends and family that love you and do anything for you but to have strangers just be so incredibly supportive um, in so many ways is just it's just I always say like there's nothing warmer than a community hug you know like and you have people that come up to you that you don't even know just offering so much love and support and you know obviously to myself and to Maddie but yeah definitely to the kids and um, you know, I'm so proud of them because they have got through, gosh, I hope one of the hardest things that they've had to do in their life. Um, for me to see what they had to see behind the scenes is like next level and I wouldn't expect anyone to have to go through that. Um, 
but I guess I've always shown them strength and that doesn't always mean that there can't be sadness too because there's a lot of that um, but at the end of the day we still know that if it's not with Matt it's for Matt so that's what their attitude is every day so they'll get up um, you know and they know that they've always got me but they also know they've got so many other people around them that love and support them as well. I think we're at a pretty exciting space, you know, like um, it's been nearly 12 months since Maddie passed next month. Um, finally got, I guess, a bit of headspace back and definitely some drive. Um, so the Lemonade crew will always be around and there'll always be funky, cool merch because I think that's really important. Um, but I guess what's more important to me now is to be able to give back and support other families with MND. You know, there's so much other support out there in terms of caring, so it's not at that level. Uh, obviously, it's not at a professor level. Um, it, it's more at that loving, caring level that made such an impact on our life. So whatever that person, you know, needs or wants, let's make it happen. Just after Maddie passed away, um, my son's best friend's dad was diagnosed with MND. And this is a local family and they live like literally around the corner from us. And they were so incredibly supportive of us um, throughout our journey. And, you know, another fit, healthy guy, absolutely no rhyme or reason as to why this would happen. So Tim was a serving police officer for 20, over 20 years. Um, and he's a father of five beautiful kids and he's got a beautiful wife, Michelle. Um, and yeah, he's now facing the same challenge as what Maddie did. And I guess that was, a, you know, like a hard pill to swallow when we first found out. I was like, how, how is this happening so soon? Um, you know, especially, I guess, with Banjo, you know his small network of friends and to think that that they've just watched Benj go through it with his dad and now it's the same with Ryan and his dad and it's like it's crazy but you know you can sit and dwell on that or you can just go right what are we going to do to help what are we going to do to make a difference so um, we've been spending a lot of time together and um, you know they've got to know them a lot more and they're such an incredible family and Tim is just so courageous he's got the exact same heart as Maddie um, and he's going to give it the best shot and he is, he's going really well. So recently we have regular coffee dates and he made the mistake of telling me that he wanted to travel the world and go to the best breweries and drink the best craft beer that there is. It's kind of like a passing comment and he's like, you know, I've done a little bit of research and I was like, mate, you've told the wrong person because we're going to make that happen. So that's my goal at the moment. We're working on um, getting a team together to, to make that, um, uh, you know, real for Tim, Tim and it's a bucket list for him. Um, but, you know, again, it's something that's really important to him personally, but it, it will show um, the importance and awareness of MND. It's going to be, you know, a visual journey so people can watch it take part in it. Hopefully we get to interview other people with MND and meet them and learn their story. So it's going to be really impactful and really important. Really focus um, on what you want and, and know that you can achieve absolutely anything. Life is so precious and so important. And you know, to just fumble the way your way through um, is such a waste you know anything could happen at any time so jump on board you know like this is a win-win you know you're helping someone you know some an incredible human being this is his bucket list item and he is a connoisseur of craft beer absolute geek I've got no idea what he talks about when he talks about it but it's his passion you know that awareness is so important and, and you know whether MND's impacted your life you know personally or 
hope that it never does in the future, but it's around and it's it's real and it's it's something that everyone needs to get behind. So, um, you know, obviously it'd be a great promotion for the breweries and and your craft beer. We'll make sure we do a very good job of that. Um, but yeah, anyone that's in any can help in any capacity, we'd love to hear from you.